Hello and welcome to Sudo Canal. I have the pleasure of solving a puzzle that I designed and actually it sort of worked by pure luck because I, I hadn't planned on a particular way of solving the stuff. I didn't set it with a, a solving path in mind but only with an aesthetic, aesthetic uh, thought in mind. I, I mean, you can see I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and something similar in an offset way, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. So I just put in the numbers and then uh, I put it into a solver and there was plenty of solutions actually. And then I added the diagonal constraint and by pure luck, it happened to have a unique solution. Then I started my solve and started to solve it to, to check if I was able to solve it and I found it extremely difficult. So I added a constraint on this cell so that the solve might go, well, might flow more naturally. And then someone told me, oh, it can't be, it can't be solved without this constraint. And obviously there is a unique solution and it took me some time to find it. So there'll be two videos, one video where I use this, this constraint that the central cell be an odd digit. And then I make a second video with the tricky solve when you don't use this information. So let me recap what this puzzle is all about. It's a normal Sudoku in the sense that every row, every column has every digit from one to nine exactly once. And both diagonals must have these two. So this is the variant called diagonal Sudoku or X Sudoku. And then there's this constraint on this cell. And actually I could have given the digit that goes into this cell because it can't be one, five, nine, nor three. So it's obviously a seven, but I didn't put the seven because it would have ruined my visual setup. Okay, now let's continue the solve. Well, four, four, there's a four in one of those cells. And three, three, there's a three here in one of those cells. Seven, seven, there's a seven here. Oh, seven on the diagonal tells us that the seven is here. Seven and seven, and this seven on the diagonal puts a seven here. Now we've got this seven, this seven, and this one. So there's a seven oh, here, here. So there's a seven in one of those cells. This one, this one, and this one. There's a seven here. Here and here, there's a seven in one of those cells. And I think that's all for sevens. Now, two, nine and nine. So there's a nine here. And six and six, there's a six in here. And something I noticed about six is four and six. You see this um, sort of small diagonal with four, fours and sixes, because you can see that four and six remove the possibility of putting either digit in here, the same here and the same here. So on the diagonal, four and six can only go here and there. So that's a pair on a diagonal. And this pushes the three on the left. And 
and then this three and this three give us a three in one of those cells. This one and this one give a one on one on th the three cells in here. This four says that four can't go on those cells on the diagonal, nor on those ones. And this four says there is a four on one of those cells. So we know now that one, three and four can only go into those three cells. So it's a one, three, four triple and nine can't go here. Nine must be here. So that's a one, three, four, triple, and this is a two, five pair. Now on this row, we still need three, four, and six. This is not a four. This is three or six. This is three, four, or six. On this diagonal, the three missing digits are two, three and eight so this can only be an eight and there's two and three in those cells what next on this row one can't be here one can't be here one is here and this tells us that one must be here because it's already on the diagonal and it pushes the three downwards and this gives this four on the diagonal. On this row we need two, three, five and six. This is two or five. This is three or six. On this row we need now five six and nine so this is five or six this is six or nine five six or nine and nine is in one of those cells so now there's a nine in one of those cells and we can see that six is not on those cells, so there's a six on the diagonal, which is in on one of those cells. Mm. This eight says there is an eight on one of those cells. In this row, on this row, we, on this column, we need two, four, five, and eight. So this is five or eight. This is two or eight. Two, four, eight. Two, four, five. So five goes here or there. On this row we need four, five, six, and eight. This is not a four. This is five, six, or eight. And we can see that on the diagonal, two can go either here or there, not here. Oh, this three really gives a two here. I had missed this one. So this is not a two, that's a three. That's a six, that's a four, that's a five, an eight, two, four. This is not an eight. This is a three. Yes, a three is very difficult to pronounce for French people. This is three or six. This is two or five and one and four in those cells. On this column, six, 
six can't go here, it must be here. So that's a five now, giving a two and a five. This is a nine. And this four on the diagonal gives a six here, yielding a five and pushing the six and the nine in those cells. On this row, we need another four. Now we have a one and a four down there. We are closing in. This four says four is in here. This is seven. This is also seven. This six gives a six in here. Let's complete first two columns with eight and nine. That's right. Now this row needs a one and an eight. This eight gives one and eight. This is supposed to be a one. On this column, we need a nine. And we'll complete the diagonal with an eight here. So that's a two. Now, a five in here, a two here. That's a three, that's a six. And for the remaining digits, that's a five. That's an eight. This is a three. We now need one and nine, and this nine disambiguates. That's the one, that's the nine, that's the one, that's the two. So that's a solution. That's a way to solve the puzzle. If you assume this particular constraint that the central digit contain the central cell contains a nut digit. Now I'll make a video where I show how to solve it without this assumption. You see that it's a bit tricky. And spoiler alert, this cell is the key. You have been warned. See you next time on Sudokanar.